Hey friends, this is Harmony Lawrence. Um, you may know me as Temperate Sage on DeviantArt or as uh, Sage of the Trades on Etsy. As I've told some of you, I'm going to be creating a photo editing series where I show you my complete photo editing process. This means you're going to see everything from start to finish, which means you're also going to see some mistakes in the middle. Today I'll be taking you through a fairly easy Photoshop edit of this guy to give you a basic sense of what I do. The picture you will see today is a fairly easy edit because it has very nice lighting qualities. First thing I'm going to do is go up and check with levels. I like to bring in the light side just until it hits the line and then I move in with the darker colors just to kind of pull in a little more contrast. Medians are the most important because they control most of the vibrant colors in your image. Selective color is one of my favorite tools because it gives me complete access over all of the color channels available. With reds, I like to pull the reds down in order to remove blemishes sometimes that are in the skin. You have to be careful though so as not to make the lips too light colored but pulling down the reds just a little bit can sometimes help with skin tones. In later videos you will actually see me go back in and re-enhance the color of the reds on the lips. With yellows, um, it really depends on the picture. Sometimes there's too much yellow, sometimes there's not enough. Sometimes just adding a little bit will give it that more kind of sunny day glow look and that's kind of what I'm going for in this picture. Like I said before, neutral tones will control most of the vibrant colors you see in your image. So here I am just going through and kind of pulling them up so I see a saturation level that I like. With greens, since this is an outdoor picture, I like to mess around with the greens. There's no green on the model in this image, so by removing the yellows and cyans from the green in the background, I can make the background a little more muted and the model pop a little more. Also, as you can see, I just messed with his eye color with the um, cyan colors and gave them a little more blue. I always usually go in with the blacks, whites, and neutrals near the end just to kind of mess with them and see what kind of contrast I can pull in. As you can see with the whites, I just pulled in a little bit more kind of light skin tones with his face and the background and with the darks I pulled in his jacket and hair definition a little more. Now I'm going in with the dodge tool and I'm using my mid-tones to bring in a little more lightness over the skin tones and the front of the model. So I'll just use a little brush over the top of him and bring that in and adjust it and redo it until I get it about right. And after that, I will go in with the burn tool and I will use my shadows and mid-tones to burn out a little bit of the background, make it a little darker, and make the model in the foreground pop just that little bit more. One problem I constantly face is kind of under or over judging with my images and oftentimes I will look at an image and I'll say this looks really nice and bright but then when I compare it to other things I'll feel like they're the whites are a little down so usually what I do near the end is I just add just a tiny bit more contrast I try not to blow things out but just add that little extra punch to it and that's what I do with the dodge and burn tools now I one of the last things I usually do, though sometimes I'll use this in the middle, is color balance. And I just kind of pull it around, punch up those golds and slight bits of reds just to kind of really make the image feel warm. It's possible to use selective color to do all of these last color changes, but sometimes color balance is just a little more compact and easy to use for those purposes. And there you have it. There is my finished image. This is a really basic edit. It's really easy to do and it's a really good way to get you guys into the way I'll be editing a lot of other images which will be more difficult.